good morning i literally just woke up um today is a really 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 special day it's gonna be a really fun day because i have my first brand event so let's get ready i'm telling you i literally just woke up like i've never done something like this and i'm really excited because it's with glossier so that's kind of a big deal to me and i feel like any other content creator and this video is not sponsored but my content on instagram and tiktok is so if you do follow me on those platforms make sure you go show some love over there and yeah i'm just really grateful that i have the opportunity to partner with a brand like glossier it is currently 8 30 i went to sleep at 2 o'clock this morning so i am so tired but the event is actually at 12 so i need to get my butt up i need to wash my hair and my friend's coming over in a little bit she's going to go to the event with me i'm so happy and grateful for her because she could probably help me film a little bit and honestly just happy that i don't have to go by myself so i have like four hours three and a half maybe because it's in dc so like a 15 20 minute drive depending on traffic and speaking of brands carol's daughter sent over their wash day delight line which i'm so happy about especially for one of my new favorite products which is this gel to foam styler this stuff is amazing and you guys know i've been sharing and using the rose water version which the scent just gets to me every time but it's honestly such a good product that i just suck it up because i really love the way it leaves my hair but i'm so happy that i finally got this aloe one because it doesn't really smell like anything to me it mostly just smells like like a fresh clean scent so i don't know it's just so much better than the rose water one but they sent me their full line so i have their shampoo which is a really good deep cleansing shampoo and then i have their jelly conditioner which is amazing this is probably one of the best conditioners i've ever tried and then they also sent over their cream serum moisturizer which i would try together but because i don't know how it's going to work i don't know if i want to do that today because i want my hair to look good but i'll definitely be using this i love it so much but i'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower and i'll be right back i just got out the shower i did a little bit of skincare i popped the pimple on my nose and now it's red but i'm gonna go ahead and put some of this balm on my eyelids i think i showed you guys this in my other vlog it's just like a plain unfragranced or no fragrance no sun or nothing like that it says you can use it anywhere on your body so i'm putting it on my eyelids because i just have super dry eyelids and i don't know what is going on on my eyelids and it doesn't matter what eye cream i try like nothing is working so i've been using this or like vaseline basically so i'm just gonna start styling my hair i don't have too much time to be messing around today so i'm probably just gonna end up fast forwarding all this hair stuff i'll show you guys what i'm using now and then yeah we'll see what it looks like in the end i also gotta do my makeup figure out what i'm going to wear i have an idea of what i want to wear but it's rainy and cloudy outside so so now i'm not really sure i made some coffee my bad bunny cup i love this cup so much but i'm not sure if i want to use this moisturizer that i showed you guys that i just got it says it helps prevent frizz detangle and soften your curls has intense hydration easy slip lightweight feel yeah i think i'm just going to try it. it'll be kind of a good day to test how well it works in like bad weather ish and honestly this gel foam does have a lot of hold what i would say it has like medium hold but a good enough hold that i feel like it should be a good wash day i'm just going to be applying both the products in sections like i normally do it feels very liquidy it's not too watery but it is a little bit runny it's definitely not really thick so that's good so it won't be super heavy on my hair I'm going to like this and the more lightweight the product is the faster my hair will dry which is also good so we'll see how this goes And then I'm gonna go ahead and scrunch this foam in. I already love this so much more just because it doesn't smell like rose water. I 
I finished applying all the products. I don't know why, but I feel like I have a lot of wet frizz, which is not a good sign for a good hair day. So I don't know if it's because I'm just kind of rushing through it or maybe this moisturizer cream. If anything goes wrong, I'm blaming it on this because it's the first time I used it. But I'm just gonna try not to touch my hair and hopefully it comes out good, good enough for me not to hate it. And I'm just gonna be doing like really, really light makeup, probably a lot of blush. Everything else is gonna be super simple. Probably won't do anything on my eyes, so. I'm using my Milani Weekend Brow to fill in my brows a little bit. And then I'm gonna be using my NYX Eyebrow Glue, like always. I showed you guys this little facial trimmer thing I've been using on my mustache, but I think I'm gonna use it on my chin as well. It's gonna be my segue into using it on my whole face. We're gonna see how it works on here because I don't know about you, but I have like little chin hairs. So we're gonna trim them off and see how it grows back. <laughs> and then if it grows back decent, then we'll do my whole face. I just did my makeup. I diffused my hair. I was worried about it because it looked like it was getting frizzy, but it actually doesn't look too bad. I'm just debating if I should do like some braids in the front or just leave it like this. But we have like an hour until we gotta go to this little event. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous, but it'll be a good time. So I ended up doing the two little braids and then I think I'm just gonna wear these little like, I don't even know what color this is. It's like a red but it's not really like bright red like a blush red whatever you want to call this color but they're like paper bag pants i actually got these from tj maxx last night because i was gonna wear something else it was like a black dress but i changed my mind and plus it's all gloomy and stuff out so i don't want to wear a dress and then i'm just going to put on this little button down it's like a cropped buttoned tank top it's super cute and then i'm gonna wear these little kitten heels they're super Tiny. They're like little sandals. It's probably like an inch, but I'm gonna wear these. We're ready to go. Do you want to say hi? Ready, ready. <laughs> got back home I actually got home a while ago and before I even talk about anything I literally dropped my camera again like my arm is fully extended and it's zoomed in so close I cannot turn the lens anymore like this is exactly what happened like two months ago and I didn't have my camera for like three weeks almost because Best Buy took forever but um I mean at least it's still working so it would be better if I actually had the tripod on but anyway this little brand event thing I went to was so cool and I I just had the best time ever. It was a really, really great first experience. I'm so happy that my friend Yaz went with me because she helped me film and just like, just helped me feel comfortable there. But um, yeah, oh my God, you guys. I was just telling my friend that I didn't even realize it was her, but I don't know if you guys know who Kennedy Walsh is here on YouTube. When she first started, she would do like a bunch of like celebrity transformations and now she kind of just more vlogs and stuff like that. Honestly, just her energy in there was amazing and she just looked like she knew what she was doing. Like she was a pro at this. I did vlog a little bit in there and i'm sure you guys have seen that footage already but please 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 make sure you guys go check out my instagram and my tiktok and go leave a comment go share it go support because i would really really appreciate it it's really like my first big brand deal that's not hair you know what i mean and it feels like a big deal to me so yeah i really appreciate if you guys go show some love and support me on those platforms as well also if you're in dc or in the dmv in the area
area. The store does open on Friday the 28th. I think I should have this vlog up by Friday or Thursday, but either way, by the time I post this video, the store should be open. So if you're interested, definitely go check it out. It's so cute. They have like a travel theme with the airplane windows and everything. You just have to go see it in person. It's really, it's really like an Instagrammable store and it's just, it's really cute. And if anybody would like a purchase recommendation, I always say if I could only choose one thing from a brand or from you know a store what would it be and the one thing i would say to purchase from glossier is their cloud paint they are so good they're super super pigmented i almost had like a little freak out moment because i was trying to apply the product in the store and i put like this really really red blush on but it was literally too much and i was scared i wasn't gonna be able to take it off and then i still had to film and stuff so i was looking crazy for a second but i ended up putting like some skin tint on top to kind of tone down the color because i put way too much they're super pigmented they have after that little event we ended up just going to get some lunch which was basically breakfast for me I was starving we went to this place called Tupelo Honey in Arlington and it was so good I went there before and I love their food and I will go back again and again it's so good so it's basically the end of the day I'm gonna finish editing some of the content that I filmed and I am going to end this vlog here Thank you guys so so much for watching I have like three videos that I filmed this week that I still have to edit so if you like we're gonna get some content back to back here so yeah if you did enjoy this video Video, make sure you give it a thumbs up before you go also make sure you're subscribed make sure you turn on your post notifications so you know when i post a new video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye